Today we speak with Vicky Holeb, CEO of Occidental Petroleum, about oil and gas 4.0 and preparing for the future. I'm Fereya El Meskeri and this is Adnok Insights. Vicky Holub, so nice to have you with us at Adnok Insights. Welcome to Adnok. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. So Vicky, what do STEM graduates look for when choosing a career? I think the important thing for the youth of today, especially those in science, technology, engineering, and math, is to look for jobs that are challenging and jobs that, that really push them to the limit with respect to technology. Right. People want to expand their technical skills and abilities and then they want to apply technology to what they're doing. But also, the thing that I'm excited about with the youth of today is the youth of today, they want to make a difference. They want to do something that matters and something that adds value to the world. So I think it's really important that, that we think about that when, when we're hiring people and when we're preparing them for their, their future careers. Okay, and what do you think the implications of this is going to be to the oil and gas? Well, I think that the problem is that some people don't view the oil and gas industry to be as technical as it is. We are a very technical industry and we, it requires technology to, to do the amazing things that we do, to understand the subsurface, drill to a very small target. Some people think that, you know, for example, an Uber driver, when you call an Uber driver and, and it takes you to a certain spot, we can actually drill 20,000 feet and get as close to our target as an Uber driver can get to a, their passenger. That's exciting and, yeah, and very, very exciting. fascinating as well. Um, how is Occidental preparing for the oil and gas 4.0? What we're doing is we are, we've just started about three or four years ago a uh, data analytics team and to prepare us for the future and what the future will be in the oil and gas industry is advanced data analytics and where we can not only have machine learning but we can do go beyond that to understand more about our subsurface reservoirs more about how we drill our wells. So there's more smart technology that takes some of the human error out of past practices, but then takes into account all the data to do a better job today than we've been able to do in the past. And how do you see the partnership with Adnoc evolving? Adnoc is an incredible partner. What I really love about what Dr. Sultan has done with Adnoc is he's transformed it into something that is, um, that is so unique today and very forward-looking. If you look at the technology that Adnoc is doing, if you go into their control room, it can show you things about the reservoir that we never imagined we would be able to see. So partnering with Adnoc, we bring our technology, our expertise combined with theirs, uh, is, has enabled us to do amazing things. And with all this technology, how do you guide your employees when it comes to this, to technology? Oh, our em employees are so excited. They're engaged and empowered to, to think about things, to be innovative and to do new things, and uh, they love the technology. They also love the way we do our business. And the way we do our business is in a way that, that protects the environment and that helps and supports the communities where we operate. This is very exciting. So you're touching both the, the environment and the innovation and technology parts. Yes. So this is the future. This is this where is we're trying to future. get to. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The future means for us in the oil and gas industry is we need to provide power to the world but we do need to do it in a way that's more progressive with respect to the environment than, than we've done in the past. Thank you very much, Vicky, for joining us at Adnoc Insights, and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.